Hello, welcome to Harvest Sprites Mod Spotlight. So this thing adds this sprite lamp and the sprite horde. And they're the recipes for those. So I put the sprite lamp down here. And what the sprite lamp does is it will harvest any fully grown crops. And what you want to do is you want to have a sprite horde about five blocks away, like here. Okay, so once you have your farm like this, you actually need to power it. And you power it with food, and the higher the saturation of the food, the better. So what I'm going to do is just going to go into the slot here, power it some food. And you can see it's pretty effective. And it all goes in here. I only used that one pumpkin pie. Um, let's try with a uh, a worse source of food. Okay, so I'm going to put one piece of chicken in it. I think it's, I'm just not sure if it's completely finished. So I'm just going to make sure. Okay, you can see it's still, still got a little bit left. But there should be a point where it stops harvesting. Looks like that pumpkin pie went pretty well. You get quite a lot of just one pumpkin pie. This is default config, obviously. Okay, so that pumpkin pie is now finished. Uh, this also does emit a redstone signal. So if I just, uh, I can probably show that actually. Okay, so one piece of chicken didn't even register. register. Let's put in a load of pumpkin pies. Uh, we'll try six, we'll try these six for now. That gives it a power of two. Okay, so yeah, it's just a stack size. Okay, so I've broken and replaced it. Um, so raw chicken, as you can see, is one and is one and one, right? So we can see how much this is actually going to last. So we'll put the chicken in, immediately consumes. And let's just see how many iterations we have to go through before that is runs out. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Okay, so you can go. It says four, but that is definitely only three blocks. Uh, just to confirm that again, I assume it's the same the other way, going down as well. So you go three blocks above and below, and this seems to be like working to do with the radius of the lamp. And what, and for what I understood, it's like this is not like a range collector or a, something like that. It's um, it's not actually at any point. There's no items in the world. It's just immediately putting it in in the ch in the chest. Uh, so finally, I want to make a brief point about the hunger and saturation. We saw that with the raw chicken that that one hunger point corresponded to about 20 breaks of the crop and with stuff like hunger and saturation so if we compare these two items pumpkin pie and mushroom stew you can see that mushroom stew will last less time it will be consumed more often by the spirit lamp but when it breaks items it will break more items simultaneously because the saturation is higher and that is all i think i can say about this so thanks for watching